Panther KF-51, rethinking the MBT. Lethality remains the raison d'etre of an MBT in the 120mm smoothbore gun system, including ammunition, has reached its limit, and due to the increased protection in recently developed Russian tanks a new solution had to be adopted, Dr. Alexander Kort, Vice President Next Generation Main Battle Tanks at Rainmetal Land System, stated loud and clear. The same is true on the protection side, especially now that loitering munitions LMs, have become a dominant presence on the battlefield, together with other dive attack weapons, it is therefore mandatory to rethink survivability. The tank reconnaissance role must also be strengthened with the adoption of nowadays technology, Mr. Court underlined, mentioning the Carmel experiment in Israel as an example. Commandability is an issue that appeared recently, since networking allows to distribute all available information and data, something that will be further enhanced by artificial intelligence AI, and designing current system in an AI-oriented way is a must to fully exploit those new capabilities, Rainmetal considering that in this area it can add extra combat value compared to existing systems, Mr. Court explained, adding. The events of February 24, 2022 further increased the focus on heavy formations and MBTs in particular, however the Panther slash KF-51 design was initiated much earlier, between 2018 and 2019, the main gun development having started even earlier, in 2016, and since then it was designed for peer-to-peer -peer conflicts and to protect the Atlantic Alliance on its eastern flank. Although designed for the new Cold War scenarios, Mr. Court underlines that the Rain Metal MBT proposal can be upgraded to be used in other scenarios, such as asymmetric conflicts. Born around its 130mm gun and to operate in combined arms formations, the Panther electronic architecture is capable to act as a multi-domain hub, according to Rain Metal, being the most protected element in the front line. Cost was another key design parameter, the company aiming at providing an affordable solution to its potential customers, breaking the cost increase trend. We also offloaded supporting capabilities, for example air defense, potentially to unmanned ground vehicles that will form part of the combined arms team. A modular design based on pods was also adopted, to allow for example LMs to be used, possibly by a supporting tank not engaged on the front line, Dr. Alexander Court continued, stressing also target handover capacities, supported by onboard micro UA versus for close reconnaissance. The Panther slash KF-51 uses a Leopard 2 running gear, power pack and part of its hull structure. That was a deliberate decision in order to have a straightforward migration path for all current Leopard users, who will therefore profit of available spare parts on the market. The running gear, which is mainly a mechanical design element, has been matured and optimized over 40 years, and considering that we managed to decrease the weight back to that of the A5 version we believe that both the running gear and the power pack capabilities will be sufficient for the next 20 to 40 years. Figures provided indicate a less than 59 tons combat weight, a range in excess of 500 kilometers, a maximum forward speed of 70 kilometers per hour and a backward speed of 30 kilometers per hour, in an acceleration that brings the Panther from 0 to 40 km per hour in 8 seconds. As for obstacle crossing, the Panther slash KF-51 is able to cope with a 60% slope and a 30% side slope, overcome a 2.5 meters wide trench and a 1.1 meters high step, and ford unprepared a 1.2 meters deep water gap. As for the size, the KF-51 fits the tunnel profile according to the AMOVE P4L standards contained in the NATO document on technical aspects of the transport of military materials by railroad. Detailing the crew station, the 23-inch main screen is linked directly to the front-facing camera of the 360 degrees vision suite, thus it is known as virtual windscreen, but it can obviously be fed with the images from other sensors, such as the commander's sight, the gunner's sight and can use picture-in-picture -picture options. 
It can also be used to plan or monitor an action, calling in the battle management system layer. The two 10-inch screens under the main one allow having at any time three different views in front of each crew member, but can also act as backup should the main display fail. Two more horizontal screens are available, at the same height of the main one, that reproduce the images generated by left and right 360-degree side cameras of the turret, providing increased situational awareness while remaining under armor protection. Theoretically, all crew members can play all roles aboard, the concept being that everything can be done from every seat. The driving position is obviously dedicated to that role, however in case of need the commander and gunner have the option to select the driving mode and drive the tank with their control handles, and in theory the driver can fire the gun, as out crew stations are very similar. Although the primary viewing assets are the displays, Rainmetal gave the option to all crew members to keep optic periscopes, so that if the power goes completely off they can still look outside. According to the company, first feedback are pretty positive, drivers never using the optical system fully relying on the virtual image provided on the screen. For Panther as it stands we have selected what we believe is a good mixture of innovative and key enabling technologies that goes along with proved and mature systems and capabilities we already have in the company, to make sure we have a fieldable system in a very short time frame, while maintaining a growth capability for the next decades, Dr. Alexander Kurtz said. Being the Panther slash KF-51 a digital system, Rainmetal used simulation in the design process and by doing so it is inherently developing a simulator as it goes forward, so when the system design will be frozen the simulator will be available, as well as training concepts, Mr. Court explained, adding that having common crew stations will make it easier to generate, build, and maintain simulators, compared to current simulators that are mechanical replicas of the systems, although some mechanical. Elements will be required, this being already done with the Lynx launch customer. The same applies to the enhanced condition monitoring, the fully digital platform making engine, sensors, runtime, default testing data available, that are fed into a central database connected to customers' logistic systems, the fleet support system being currently at prototype stage for an existing customer. The same will be done for the Panther slash KF-51. Looking at the Panther project, Dr. Court stated that in some areas things are less clear than in others, and specifically this happens where the final customer has a greater influence, such as BMS integration, radio integration, adding we're not an RCWS, and so on. These are the areas where commonality with the customer's fleet come into play, and these are the areas where we design the system to be modular and able to comply with customers' requirements. The Rainmetal Land System Vice President Next Generation Main Battle also said that the company is in discussion with a number of countries to determine specific Panther configurations so the situation should become more clear in the coming months, adding that a potential launch customer will be on this continent. Considering the numerous nations using the Leopard 2 it was said that there is an upgrade path from Leopard to Panther because of commonalities in certain areas in the chassis, although EDR Online understood that of course the aim is to produce new platforms. The InMetal considers there is a market of 500 to 800 units within 2035, and between 5,000 and 8,000 units after 2035. We are reasonably confident over the near term and this is backed up by the studies that independent agencies conduct on yearly basis on upgrade and replacement programs in Europe, he added. Closing remarks were referred to the MGCS. We don't necessarily see the Panther as an MGCS competitor, we consider that for some countries it is a bridging technology, as it contains technologies that we are also putting forward for the MGCS. Among those we propose the future gun system as well as some elements in the protection area and some automation bricks. But we certainly see a market beside the MGCS. Panther KF-51 The Panther KF-51 is a German main battle tank, MBT, that is under development by Rainmetal Land System, part of Rainmetal's Vehicle Systems Division. It was unveiled publicly at the Erosatory Defense Exhibition on June 13, 2022. KF is short for Kettenfahrzeug, i.e., tracked vehicle. The KF-51 is based on the hull of the Leopard 2A4. A new turret is to be mounted on the Leopard 2, the main gun is an auto-loaded 130mm caliber. On December 5, 2022 Rainmetal announced that it plans to mainly target existing Leopard 2 operators with the KF-51. 
Development Rain Metal began the development of major subsystems related to the Panther in 2016, with system-level design commencing in 2018. The Panther has been developed as a private venture by Rainmetal to demonstrate by 2026 the potential for increasing the lethality, mobility, survivability, and networking capabilities of MBTs without incurring a significant increase in weight. To reduce the weight of the Leopard 2A4 platform on which the development vehicle is based, Rainmetal prioritized active over passive protection. Further developments under consideration for the vehicle including measures to make it more environmentally friendly during peacetime operations, the installation of a more powerful and more efficient power pack, the integration of AI into the fire control system to enable automated target detection and identification, mounting an unmanned turret on the vehicle, and the creation of an unmanned version of the Panther. Efforts to make the vehicle more environmentally friendly could result in an alternative hull being developed for the Panther. Ukraine. In February 2023, Rainmetal revealed they are in talks with Ukraine to export the KF-51. Company CEO Armin Papager said the first delivery could be in 15 to 18 months and suggests a factory in the country could be possible. Rainmetal believes a plant in Ukraine can be built for around 200 million euros which could produce up to 400 Panther tanks annually. It would also need to be protected against air attack from the ongoing 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. Design and Mobility The KF-51 is based on the hull of the Leopard 2A4, thus, it has a conventional layout for an MBT with the driver at the front, the fighting compartment slash turret in the middle, and the power pack at the rear. The driver is seated in the front right of the hull and is provided with a single-piece hatch above their position in the roof of the glassy plate. A separate crew station can be provided in the left front of the hull for either a dedicated systems operator or a unit commander. Color cameras for the driver are installed in the center of the front and rear of the hull. Should the KF-51 enter production a new hull would be designed by Rainmetal. Where the design of the KF-51 departs from that of the preceding generation of Western MBTs is by the introduction of a new two-person turret fitted with an auto-loaded main gun. The rear of the turret houses the magazines for the main gun's automatic loader and pods for loitering munitions if these have been equipped. There are housings for cameras on all four corners of the turret and in the middle of each side of the turret. The Panther has a combat weight of 59 tons, making it lighter than most Western MBTs developed prior to 2022. The power pack, tracks and most of the running gear of the vehicle are also believed to have been derived from those of the Leopard 2A4. This Leopard 2A4 power pack consists of an MTU MB873 Ka501 water-cooled V12 diesel engine producing 1,479 horsepower at 2,600 RPM, this coupled to a rank HSWL354 four-speed automatic transmission. The Panther's maximum speed has not been disclosed, but it has a maximum range of 500 kilometers. The Leopard 204's running gear consists of seven dual-tired rubber road wheels and four rubber-tired offset track return rollers on each side, with the idler at the front and the drive sprocket at the rear. The road wheels are supported by torsion bar suspension with advanced friction dampers. The first, second, third, sixth, and seventh road wheels feature advanced friction dampers and hydraulic bump stops to dampen oscillations with the 4th and 5th fitted with solid bump stops. The KF-51 is fitted with an 82-link Defense Service Trax 570F track of 635mm width with rubber-bushed end connectors on each side. Protection The KF-51 Panther is stated to have three layers of protection, passive, reactive and active. The innermost layer consists of all-welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer comprises sensor-based reactive armor, while the final layer consists of Rainmetal's Active Defense System ADS, Active Protection System APS, that Rainmetal claims is capable of protecting against kinetic energy KE, projectiles and anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs. It is possible to mount the ADS on both the hull and the turret. The Panther is fitted with 8 Rainmetal Rapid Obscuring System Rosy, smoke grenade launchers mounted in staggered rows of two behind the central camera housing on each side of the turret. 
it is possible to integrate sensors into the Panther that can detect the launch signature of ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets before cueing the vehicle's crew towards the threat or launching appropriate countermeasures. The Panther can be fitted with Rainmetal's Top Attack Protection System, TAPS. This comprises a hard kill element in which the coverage of the ADS is extended to the roof of the platform to protect against both ATGMs and unguided anti-tank rockets launched at high elevations, as well as a soft kill element that aims to protect against threats such as loitering munitions. Armament The primary armament of the KF-51 is a stabilized rainmetal RH-130L-51 130mm smoothbore gun that can be elevated from minus 9 degrees to plus 20 degrees. Rainmetal claims that this is capable of delivering between 18 to 20 megajoules, 13 million to 15 million foot-pounds force, 20 MJ equals 4, 8 kg TNT, of energy onto a target and that it has a 50% longer effective range than rainmetal 120mm tank guns. The RH-130 can fire armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding SABO, APFSDS, ammunition, programmable airburst high explosive, HE, and practice projectiles. The gun is fed by an auto-loader that consists of two revolving drum magazines with a capacity of 10 rounds each. During a test firing in April 2022, the RH-130 mounted on a test rig was able to fire three rounds in 16 seconds, though this included the time to perform safety checks. Two hatches are located in the turret sides to allow the auto-loader's magazines to be replenished within five minutes. An option is available to carry an additional 10 rounds on the back of the vehicle outside of the hull and turret. Secondary armament consists of a coaxially mounted 12.7mm machine gun. A remote operated weapon station, RWS, can be mounted on the rear of the turret roof to provide close-in defense and a counter unmanned aircraft system, CUAS, capability. An option for this is the Rainmetal Natter which can be armed with a 7.62mm gun that can be elevated from minus 15 degrees to plus 85 degrees. When thus armed, it can carry 2,500 ready rounds. The KF-51 can be equipped with the Hero 120 loitering munition system, 